Hi. With MRP Easy Professional Edition, it is possible to manage outsourced services and operations which you order from a subcontractor or a contract manufacturer. It is possible to have outsourced operations in your manufacturing process which will be scheduled together with other operations in your production schedule. When we want to add a subcontracted service in our product's routing, then as the first thing, we must define the subcontractor. In MRP Easy, a subcontractor is defined as any other vendor in the procurement section. Now, in a product's routing, we can define operations performed outside of our facilities by that subcontractor. To do that, let's choose the subcontractor from the workstation group to whom this operation will be assigned. By using the setup and cycle time fields, we can enter the estimated time it takes for this process. We have defined in our settings an 8-hour workday, so to define a fixed 3-day lead time, we enter 1,440 minutes as the setup time. In case the lead time is a function of quantity, then we must also use the cycle time field. Our subcontractor will bill us by piece. Therefore, we'll enter the estimated variable cost of $50 per piece. With this information, MRP Easy can easily estimate costs and lead times of your products and build the subcontracting purchase order for the operation. Connected to the manufacturing order, you can easily issue a purchase order to your subcontractor and track its status. Let's schedule a production run for our product, which has a subcontracted operation. Once it's saved, we see that the subcontracted operation is scheduled together with other operations that we perform ourselves. Once we're ready to send the purchase order to the subcontractor, we click the Create PO button in the subcontracts section of the manufacturing order. MRP Easy automatically prefills the whole purchase order. At any point, when necessary, we can edit it. For example, when we receive the final price confirmation. Once the purchase order is saved, it is tied to this manufacturing order. Plus, the status of the purchase order drives the status of the corresponding operation in the manufacturing order. When we ship the products to our subcontractor, we must fill the Shipped On field in the purchase order. The subcontracting PO status will become Shipped and the subcontracted operation in the manufacturing order will become started. When we receive the purchase order, we will enter the arrival date in the purchase order, which will now become received. Back in the manufacturing order, the subcontracted operation is marked finished. If this operation was the last step, then to wrap up, the manufacturing order must be finalized, as usual, by clicking the Finished Production as Planned button or Finish Production button in the reporting view. Now, all products are available in stock and all materials have been consumed from stock. Plus, the costs of the subcontracting purchase order are included in the cost of the products. If you do not perform any manufacturing operations yourself for a given product or assembly, but you just purchase the components and issue them to a contract manufacturer, then you can raise a purchase order for these products and together with the purchase orders, you can ship the materials. First, we must define the bill of materials for the product, which lists only the parts that we supply to the contract manufacturer from our stock. Now, let's change this item to a procured item and add a purchase term so that MRP Easy can automatically pre-fill the purchase order with vendor details, prices, and lead times. Ordering these products from a contract manufacturer is very similar to working with a regular purchase order. So, to order the products, let's create a new purchase order.
After clicking Save, a new section appears for booking the free issue materials and shipping them. Let's click on Book Materials to book them from our stock according to the bill of materials and the ordered quantity of products. Clicking Show Bookings shows us all materials that have been reserved for this subcontracting purchase order. To plan the shipment of materials, let's add a new shipment. Let's check all the pre-filled details and save. Currently, this is a planned shipment and now can be seen by the stock workers. Let's report the shipping by picking the items from stock. The free issue materials have now left the stock. Back in the subcontracting purchase order, we must process and track this as any other purchase order. We can print out a PDF or have MRP Easy open the email client to order it. We can track the status in the bottom part of the PO. Once items have arrived, we can report both partial and full receipt. We've received the products into stock and no longer have any materials which were consumed by the subcontractor in stock. The cost of the products reflects both the purchase order cost and the cost of the consumed materials which MRP Easy automatically keeps track of. The functionality can be enabled in the section Settings, System Settings, Professional Functions. In this video, we described how the subcontracting functionality works. To learn more about MRP Easy, please see our other videos. Thanks for watching.